Good morning. This is NOAA Weather Radio, a service of NOAA's National Weather Service, originating from the National Weather Service Forecast Office located at Rockefeller Center in New York City. NOAA Weather Radio transmitters are KWO 35 on 162.55 MHz at Rockefeller Center and also WXM 80 on 162.475 MHz at Riverhead, Long Island. This is the morning broadcast. Happy New Year. The new year began on a wet but mild note, but will quickly change to dry and chillier weather today. A cold front moved through the tri-state area a few hours before sunrise on this first day of the 1990s. This shifted the winds to west, and slightly cooler air began flowing across the region, causing visibilities to improve significantly. Light rain persisted after midnight, but was in the process of tapering off very early this morning from west to east. Also, as drier air works slowly into the area, clouds will decrease as the day progresses. Winds will pick up and will be brisk throughout the day. High pressure is forecast to favor us with fair weather through the midweek period. Temperatures will become colder as today progresses and will drop into the 20s at most places tonight. But west winds at the surface Tuesday and a southwest flow of air at upper levels of the atmosphere, at least for the next several days, will warm us up to near or a bit above normal for much of this week. A storm from the west will bring a chance of rain for Thursday. Normal temperatures will be quite welcome after the cold weather of December. Speaking of December 1989, our preliminary figures show that the average temperature for the month was 26.1 degrees, which makes it the third coldest December on record at Central Park since record-keeping began in 1869. Only the Decembers of 1876 and 1917 were colder at 24.9 and 25.0 degrees, respectively. December 1989 was also remarkable in that no low temperature records were set, even though all days except the last day of the month were below normal. Precipitation-wise, 0.74 inches of water equivalent precipitation fell at Central Park, which is considerably below the normal of 3.21 inches. On New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, one often thinks about what lies ahead in the future. What will the 1990s be like, especially weather-wise? Will we have more droughts like the early and late 1980s? More flooding like we had in 1984 and 1989? Will hurricanes stalk the Atlantic coast as in the 1950s? Will our winters become more severe and snowy, like the early 1960s? As with all things, time will certainly tell. And we at the National Weather Service wish each of you a happy, healthy, and safe New Year, as well as throughout the 1990s. So here's the latest weather forecast from the National Weather Service for northern New Jersey and southeastern New York, including Long Island and the New York City metropolitan area. Rain will be tapering off from west to east very early this morning. Otherwise, it will become breezy with decreasing cloudiness by midday. There could be a flurry or two inland through early afternoon. High temperatures along the coast will be in the low 40s early, falling through the 30s this afternoon, and highs inland will be in the mid to upper 30s early, falling into the upper 20s by dark. Tonight will be clear and colder with lows in the mid to upper 20s along the coast, ranging down to the upper teens well inland. Tuesday will be sunny and cool, High temperatures will be around 40 near the coast and in the low 30s over the interior. Here is the extended weather forecast for the period Wednesday through Friday. Sunny weather is forecast Wednesday. There is a chance of rain Thursday. And sunny weather is expected again Friday. High temperatures will be in the upper 30s to low 40s. Low temperatures will be in the 20s near the coast to the teens inland. Park at Central Park, on the cloudy skies but with breaks. The temperature was 40 degrees. The relative humidity, 65%. The dew point, 29 degrees. The wind west at 15 with gust to 21 miles an hour. Barometer, 29.64 inches and rising. Radar showed an area of rain over the ocean from 70 to 150 miles southeast of New York City, which continued to move east at about 35 miles an hour. A few light snow showers had also popped up over the Catskills. Movement had not been determined. The skies had become partly cloudy now over most stations. It was still cloudy over the eastern half of Connecticut and over eastern Long Island. The winds continued out of the west at 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts between 25 and 30. Around the city and over Long Island, temperatures were in the upper 30s to low 40s. Readings were in the low 30s over northwest New Jersey and northeastern Pennsylvania and were in the mid to upper 30s over the lower Hudson Valley, Connecticut, and southeastern PA. At the Ambrose Tower, wind was west-northwest at 31 knots. Air temperature was 40. Ocean water temperature was 39 degrees. Repeating 10 a.m. Central Park, 
the temperature was 40 degrees. Here is the morning climatic data. Yesterday, December 31st, 1989, the temperature in New York City ranged from a low of 31 degrees to a high of 53, which averaged 42 and is 9 degrees above normal. This gave us 23 additional heating degree days, making a total of 2,049 for the heating season. Degree days last season to this day totaled 1,766. The normal is 1,703. The estimated degree days for today is 24. For is 38, and the normal low is 27. The record high for this date is 62 degrees, set in 1966, and the record low is minus 4, set back in 1918. Yesterday, 0 0.50 inches of precipitation fell at Central Park, giving us a total of 0 0.74 inches for the month of December and 65.02 inches for the year of 1989. Yesterday, a trace of frozen precipitation fell at Central Park, leaving us with a total of 1.4 inches of snow for the month of December and 6.1 inches so far for this winter season. The record rainfall for this date is 2.05 inches set way back in 1888, and the record snowfall for this date is 9.0 inches set back in 1869. Sunrise today is at 7.20 a.m. Sunset will be at 4.39 p.m.